It's dark in Hoi An now, but it has been pouring with rain for hours and the water is cascading off the roof of the hotel. It's like a waterfall out here. The balcony is turning into a lake. It is chucking it down. Damn roof tiles are coming down and that one just bashed against the door, but luckily the glass didn't break. I oh, just lost the power. All the lights went out and then there was a big transformer explosion. So we're in the dark here in Hoi An now. Well, the rain has eased off considerably here in Hoi An, but we are still getting these strong gusts of wind blowing across town. But overall, I am getting the sense looking at the radar that we could be about to enter the eye of Typhoon Noru here. It's getting pretty calm out there now. The few gusts blowing about, but nothing like it was earlier. Yeah, the winds have really died down now so i'm assuming we're in the eye and uh, the pressure is about 982 millibars which is very high and i'm suspecting that earlier today the core of this storm because it was so small and tightly wound up these kind of storms they ramp up quickly which we saw before it hit the philippines and then this morning but they can unravel just as quickly as well and i suspect that is what has happened just now and has ultimately saved Hoi An from a catastrophic impact. Quick update from Hoi An in central Vietnam after Typhoon Noru made landfall in the early hours this morning. Walking through town, there is a lot of tree debris lying in the streets and roads blocked, power lines down. But thankfully, most of the buildings appear to have managed to got through the storm in one piece with only superficial damage here and there. But most importantly, the flooding situation. Well, I'm down here in the old town by the river. And yes, it has burst its banks, but it mostly seems to be confined near the waterway which if is the case elsewhere means that the flooding is a lot less severe than was originally anticipated.